The frequency of workouts for maximum benefits can vary depending on several factors, including your fitness goals, current fitness level, and the type of exercise you're doing. Here are some general guidelines. Welcome back to another exciting video from Fit Flourish Fever. Today's video is about how often should you work out for maximum benefits? Before we start the video, please like, subscribe, and press the bell icon. Cardiovascular exercise. Frequency, aim for at least 150 minutes of moderate intensity aerobic exercise or 75 minutes of vigorous intensity aerobic exercise per week, spread over at least three days a week. You can also do a combination of moderate and vigorous exercise. Ideal, three to five days a week of cardio exercise. Frequency for general health. If your goal is to maintain good cardiovascular health, aim for at least 150 minutes of moderate intensity aerobic exercise, such as brisk walking or leisurely cycling, spread over a minimum of three days per week. You can also do 75 minutes of vigorous intensity aerobic exercise, like running or intense cycling, again spread over at least three days. Frequency for weight loss. If weight loss is your primary goal, increasing the frequency of cardio workouts to five to seven days a week can help you burn more calories. However, it's essential to avoid excessive volume as recovery is still crucial for overall health. Strength training. Target each major muscle group with resistance training at least two to three days a week. Three to four days a week of strength training, allowing for rest days in between. Frequency for muscle growth. If you're looking to build muscle mass, target each major muscle group with resistance training at least two to three days a week. Give each muscle group adequate time to recover before working it again. Frequency for general strength and tone. For general strength and toning, two to three days a week of strength training can be sufficient. You can work on different muscle groups on different days to allow for recovery. Flexibility and mobility training. Frequency, include flexibility exercises two to three days a week. Stretching can be done daily, but should be gentle and not forced. Ideal, regular flexibility work can be done daily or as part of your warm up and cool down routines. Frequency for improved flexibility, including flexibility exercises like static stretching or yoga, two to three days a week can help improve your range of motion and reduce the risk of injury. Daily flexibility maintenance. For those who want to maintain good flexibility, performing gentle stretches and mobility exercises daily, especially before and after workouts, can be beneficial. High intensity interval training, HIT. Frequency, HIT workouts are intense, so two to three sessions per week with at least one day of rest in between is generally sufficient. Ideal, two to three days a week of HIT training interspersed with other forms of exercise. Frequency for fat loss and cardiovascular fitness, HIIT workouts are intense and efficient. Aim for two to three sessions per week, each lasting around 20 to 30 minutes, with at least one day of rest or lower intensity exercise in between. Rest and recovery. Frequency, ensure that you have at least one or two rest days per week to allow your body to recover and prevent overtraining. Ideal, one to two days of complete rest each week. Importance of rest days, rest and recovery are critical for muscle repair and growth, as well as injury prevention. Aim for at least one to two days of complete rest each week. On these days, avoid intense workouts and allow your body to recover fully. Active recovery, on rest days, you can engage in light activities like walking, gentle yoga, or swimming, which can promote blood flow and aid in recovery without causing excessive stress on your muscles. Remember, these are general guidelines, and individual variations can play a significant role. Factors such as age, fitness level, and specific goals will influence your ideal workout frequency. Also, consider periodization, which involves altering the intensity and volume of your workouts over time to prevent plateaus and overtraining. Lastly, pay attention to your body's signals. If you experience persistent fatigue, soreness, or any signs of overtraining, adjust your workout frequency or intensity accordingly. Consulting with a certified fitness trainer or healthcare professional can provide you with personalized guidance tailored to your unique needs and goals. Thanks for watching the video. 
If you enjoyed it, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content.